welcome to AVID 2022. We are at Lindlar and uh, we have our next panel discussion. It's all about LED and we have one of the most knowledgeable people around here on stage. So welcome to, to Lindlar. Um, Ben, I would like to start with you because this is your home turf, more or less. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, in the past, we always talked about, you know, more pixel, better, finer pixel pitches, everything. So what are the latest trends? What have you seen in the last 12 to 18 months happening in the LED industry? I mean, that's a good point. While, while in the past years, pixel pitch and decreasing the pixel pitch was, was the most important thing and what everybody was looking on, I think nowadays it's more about the application or, um, let's say, the vertical. And um, I think this is where manufacturers also put their focus on these days so you have technologies that make LED more efficient or um, for example the guys of Brompton they are working on features to to meet special uh, special markets and special applications so I think it's more about applications and features in, instead of um, yeah decreasing the pixel pitch but talking about single processing and, 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 and because everyone looks about the finest pixel pitch and only at the end you know they oh, we need also you know look at uh, picture processing everything so what is the latest trends what do you see there and how can you improve improve uh, you know, current, current products? What we have been doing is that, well, we focused already from, from the very beginning, we focused that um, LED performed good on camera. And what we have seen in COVID times that people were using their LED displays in a different way for virtual production, studios, film work, broadcasts. So they had the stock, they wanted to use it, they want to make some money. And what we did is that instead of um, making new hardware, we increased, well, we increased the functionality of the existing hardware so that people by using free software upgrades, by software upgrades that we had added functionality. So we have inserted like green screens, we now inserting uh, like tracking points, things like that. So is this enabled by AI or is it more hard, better hardware you're using to improve the picture quality? <coughs> well, it's um, the, hard, the hardware that we are uh, using is already is basically already existing a few years. So the people that invested in this few years back now have it available, okay? And we, what we do, we make that it's future proof and it is backwards compatible. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, Epson, I mean, you produce a lot of different solutions, and now you're focusing even more on dedicated vertical solutions. Could you name a few where you think you know you have done some some, or some big improvement, or where you have more or more dedicated products for certain vertical markets? Yeah. So, so you you just mentioned the older vertical markets. So I I can start uh, at outdoor applications. Uh, so it's not the topic for today that much, but we do have specific products over there. Uh, but then if we go, let's say the other uh, the other way, uh, then we come to the same topics that we've just started with to speak about is uh, XR and virtual production. Uh, so we do have dedicated products over there as well. And let's say in the middle somewhere, we do have the retail vertical market where we also have dedicated products where, where you have maximum on, on flexibility uh, so that you can uh, turn modules 90 degree uh, counterwise uh, the, the modules, uh, the LEDs. So uh, and, and this is end up uh, indeed in getting more specific for dedicated applications as uh, again uh, just mentioned the XR or VP do have specific demands and kind of very high demand uh, depending on application in this vertical as well I know I mean you know, we are reporting daily about the industry and every day I get like a mail or a press release from some LED company or this is the la latest XR studio we did and it looks fantastic all the time but I think when you look at the whole LED market, you know, the studio market is quite small, or in, in look in general, because you had Infinite, for example, you know, you just, you just launched your latest um, staging product, you know, X, what it's called? Titan X. Titan X. Yes. Um, I think this is also an important market, not only looking at the, the fixed installations, but also yeah. at, at the stuff, right? Well, absolutely. I think it's also a point of like where, where, where you come from. So, of course, for us, we come out of the rental and staging. So that's a big part of our DNA. But I think I also agree with Christian that, uh, as you also mentioned, Florian, is it is still a small market, but we see ex exponential growth in it. And also adaptation towards the technology and in this case being more of LED. So I think having dedicated... Uh, um, approach to each of these verticals and making sure that you work in them extremely efficient and uh, really also customer oriented in terms of the new developments of the product. So that's what we... Talk. Well, talking about, we need to talk about availability, at least for a few minutes. <laughs> We're still in the pandemic and uh, when I talk to the industry, when I talk to integrators, to end customers, they all complain, oh, we're waiting for weeks and months, you know, for the hardware. So uh, where are we currently? How is the availability? Do you see any improvements coming up and during the year? 
So there is still a shortage uh, in, in microchips. Uh, it's not only dedicated to our AV industries everywhere, so everyone uh, usually know about. And uh, what we, tr we do have several, uh, yeah, several solutions for that. So first of all, we do have stock uh, in, in our Chinese uh, factory uh, for also dedicated products over there, so the most uh, selling products kind of. Uh, then we work uh, c quite close together with our uh, distributors. They do have their stock. And uh, then we do have, uh, yeah, happily also for rental and staging companies like Lang AG, which in, uh, just recently invested in products uh, in, in, higher, uh, in a higher volume so that uh, they can uh, also sh uh, yeah, you sell their products to their customers to later on do the cross rental. So uh, there are different ways uh, to handle, uh, and uh, but, but that means still if you want to go uh, for a customized product, just to make an example, the lead time is indeed uh, still a kind of bottleneck. Uh, yeah. But if you go for standardized products, uh, then it's uh, easier. What is also the challenge still? Same at Brompton. You also suffering. You also have. Or well, yeah, we're we're quite good on on processing itself. The processors we can keep up the production with with the demand. And if there is like a shortage for a shorter period of time, then that's because of the demand is higher. If a customer all of a sudden has a, a, a huge project that he needs a, a whole yeah. lot of processors, then there's a bump. On receiver cards, it's a bit diffi more difficult because there's a much higher, a much much higher demand and their lead times are a bit longer, but what we do is we allocate uh, the receiver cards if we know about the project, and the earlier we know about the project, we can say, okay, the deadline for this project is mid of September, so we need to make sure that we do have stock for these. So we put uh, our customers like any, in a waiting list, like any queue list, and, and based, based on the request, we, we allocate the receiver cards. This is how we work right now, because we want to keep uh, all our customers happy. I can imagine, yeah. Um, at least when we talk to the industry, we often get the feeling that, especially IT integrators or others who are not so too familiar with LED, that they're struggling a little bit to understand you know, the complexity of the product. Also, they're having a harder time selling it to their customers because you know, it always looks so expensive. So do you see an improvement there? Is there more education going on? Or what are your initiatives to enable more partners to sell LED in general? I mean, being rental, being at fixed installations across, across the board. And Ben, I know you're also very active in, in this direction. Right? Yeah, I mean, an initiative that, that we kind of like started and what we also see on the manufacturer side is that we decided that for people that are not that well trained and don't have that much LED experience, it might, might make sense to have something which is, has the usability of a display, but it's actually LED technology. So this is why we decided that uh, some kind of um, uh, single units that co combine display usability but LED technology are a good, good way to, to bring LED to those people. Cool, good, good, good. So uh, we're not looking for finer pixel, but we're looking for more vertical solutions. Uh, it's a wider area of, 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 of use cases LED works for. It's a rental fixed installation. Um, anything exciting coming up in the next couple of weeks? Uh, anything you're presenting at ISE or uh, something people should wait for? Or do you just recommend buy now? <laughs> I would say it makes sense to come to ISE. I think that's, uh, that's what I can say so far. But I'm sure you wouldn't complain if people would order now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> good, good. So that's what I think it was really interesting. It was gave us you know, a short, in, short uh, update about the market. And uh, it's great stuff to see here. Uh, we're here in front of a 1.5 mil uh, Epson wall. I think it's from you guys. Um, it's micro-LED. They hate me calling it micro-LED, but it's more or less, you know, people know what it means. We had the discussion, so. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah. Please join us um, at uh, ISE in May in, in Barcelona and uh, looking forward to seeing you. And thanks a lot for being here today. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.